Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play People's General. General McKay and the US forces are now at the island of Sakhalin. I'm not so sure that I'm pronouncing it right. It's a Russian in origin, possibly, but if you see the map itself uh, and the name of the objectives, you might have second thoughts about that. i go into that a bit later, but yeah, it's just something that I realized after uh, having you know, gone through this map uh, now for the third time. This map was also featured in the Western Campaign. Uh, I don't know about the UN missions, but definitely in the Western Campaign, and it was more of an extended tutorial map where you learn more about the game mechanics. And I hope that this will be no different because I think I had a pretty good time there. So if you see the map, you might see that this is a rather interesting arrangement. Uh, in the Eastern Campaign, I started from the Southwest. You know, it makes sense because it's closer to China. Um, I think it's a Harbin region where they could probably launch this attack from. Yeah, that's where we ended up and after taking over here we had to travel across and I basically um, predictably used the tanks to travel across here and then was able to make it. So I believe in this case as well I'd be able to use the tanks here as you can see. There are no slots but they're kind of um, they're kind of way down. Uh, these the tanks are rather heavy. So if you see, there is no other mode of transport available, just have to use the tracks to travel. And I think I'll be able to do that through the forest, but that's going to preclude me from you know, achieving a brilliant victory here. And then there's another arrangement uh, in this case, that uh, just across the, the hills and mountain ranges here, it's really treacherous, where there's not much to go on. There's only one direction you can go from here. Actually, there are two directions, but you know, one direction here and one direction through the forest. And there's swamp. I don't know what. Maybe this is actual geographical feature that the developers have um, observed and now applying this in the game as well. And I believe that there was basically nothing, and there was really nothing that I could do uh, in order to make use of this feature. But you can see here, there's an airfield. And also, oh, this is a rail. Maybe this is a part of the Trans-Siberian Railway. It doesn't end in Vladivostok. Of course, we have this mass scrolling issue once again. I need to be very careful with this. Yeah, if I'm careful with this, I'd be able to use it without problems. But yeah, there is a little bit of a hitch there. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I mean, I say blame Windows 10, but after upgrading it, I didn't have this kind of problem. Not so sure what happened. Maybe it's anniversary update that caused this problem. Allow this game to run in a windowed mode or something. Uh, yeah, so you have to bear with me once again. So there is an airfield right here that you can make use of from the start. And in the Eastern Campaign, the catch was that I had to use the airfield right here. Uh, I think it was down there, sorry. It fell down here. And then transport all my troops here. If you use a support unit, you can just use a support unit and then after landing, uh, deploy right there and then. And then use the newly deployed units in order to you know attack the rest of the objectives. While the more heavier units, they cannot travel by air. I mean, if you use a support unit, then yeah, I mean, the tanks can be deployed uh, along with the support unit. Uh, if you just opt to travel through the forest, then it's going to obviously take a long time. But maybe able to coordinate the attacks from the deployed unit from the north to attack here. Now, this is an arrangement that is quite opposite to what we experienced in Eastern Campaign, where we have to first probably capture here and then use the airfield there to be able to transport the unit along with the support unit. I don't know whether it's going to be actually going to be useful. Uh, I'd rather just maybe try to use the tanks to travel just across the island and see how long it takes. Then the brilliant victory is out of question, but still I'll be able to achieve a victory and uh, just have to see uh, what kind of concentration of troops uh, there are. And of course, how much of a different types of units are either here or here. That's going to kind of allow us to measure the progress and plan ahead. 
So as we see that there's not a lot of rivers, not a lot of uh, opportunity for river assault. Probably need to take out a lot of attachment that I put on the tanks. Here we go. Yeah, and then probably should start with that. First of all, let's check the air superiority. Okay, so 90% is very decent. We have to make a full use of the airfield and the air transport. And uh, yeah, definitely the air superiority is on our side. Um, Alright, so the last three victories are brilliant. Let's keep it that way. And uh, Alright, so I think we have a... Oh no, we don't have any uh, Russian units. Too bad. I thought that at the end of the last episode, because there was no arrows, I thought that the Russian units might be available because I thought it was a bug, but apparently the Russian units are not available, unfortunately. Okay, well, let's get to uh, retrofitting our tanks. Getting rid of this. Yeah, and maybe adding some uh, air support for the leaders. Just in case. Yeah, just to be prepared for everything because these guys will travel the furthest and therefore we'll be exposed to more attacks from helicopters. Yeah, these guys really don't need anything. Maybe uh, if anything is going to uh, weigh them down to make them more heavier. Doesn't really um, matter in the context of the game, but kind of feels that they might be weighed down a bit too much. I mean, they can travel through the swamp if they want to, but I don't think that's where the enemies are. Alright, so, um, how about low set? It can be transported using helicopter, so it might be pretty useful. Well, I add the uh, tank busting attachment this time, and we have two high mars, indeed. Maybe that was why the extra unit was supplied, not uh, just for this mission, because they can be transported by helicopters. Yeah, alright. Okay, so have we taken care of all this? Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't think I really need this either. Maybe I just exchange this to air support, anti-air attachment. Um, yeah, this guy as well. Okay, there will be a lot of um, well, we saw our emissions from the Chinese, I bet, because of the 90% air superiority, but they still might have some helicopters. It might be pretty bad if we are caught in the forest with the helicopters like flying about. Although its movement is limited, it's not impeded by the forest. Okay, and uh, let's just get to the requ requisition and see what other units we can add. I believe I lost the... Um, uh, recon, so I might add a recon here. Did I lose a recon? I have three. Yeah, I think I need one more. So let's just add it. While we have plenty of um, prestige. Let's see, okay. Tracer. Yeah, this is a pretty decent unit. I just keep using this. Alright, so, um, well. Um... The Warthog worked out pretty well for us last time around and I come tempted to bring in another one. Uh, maybe I should. Um, just have to see whether I'd be needing to spend more prestige in other areas as well, such as infantry. We have three knight uh, units and I think two ranger units, so... Um, how about bringing another longbow, you know, just to show up our helicopter core, yeah, or I don't know, helicopter regiment. Um, oh, let's just go for a warthog. I don't know. It just seems more exciting that way, right? Let's just go for it. Okay. Uh, the infantry. Well, all right. Let's add the infantry as well. Just splurge. I mean, many of our units do have over strength already, and it's preserved throughout the campaign. So finally I may be cashing it in, still building upon the units that I experienced and really do not have to worry about war strength that much. I mean in some cases like artillery it might, it might be better if I add more strength to it. Um, 520... 
Uh, 455, well... Yeah, Striker Infantry. Yeah. I mean, if it survives, then I'll be upgrading it tonight. I think you'll be able to survive. Yeah, I think I just not try to uh, push it ahead too much. And also, entrenches quickly. Yeah, okay. So, 381. Alright, so I'm. I think I'm pretty much done in requisition, so let's try to overstrength this. Yeah, alright. 11 is decent. I think, in my opinion, I think we have more use of the artillery this turn because of this high range. And might be able to go into forest and still able to fire. So let's try to do that. Uh, and high Mars, unfortunately, is not over strength. Um, it's not really... It's a prototype, so it cannot be over strength. But I can still add a couple of attachments to add to the strength. Especially when it comes to its um, capacity. I think I add like two more attachments just to upgrade the high Mars. Alright. Yeah, these nine units are all over strength. I think I could overstrength these guys. Yeah, let's overstrength these guys. Oh, okay, not this guy, sorry. Yeah, because I want to add to the territories. Let's go and look at it. And add, I think, two. Yeah. So it has only three. It's the only weakness this guy has. Let's add to basically double the capacity. Yeah, that's very impressive. Anybody I can overstrength? Uh, engineer, okay. Yeah, let's overstrength this guy. Yeah, okay, so only four is left. Let's save. Let's. Alright, let's go into the map. Eight turns for brilliant victory. Fair knight and ninety percent air superiority is going to help us a lot. Okay, so we start off from Pro Narsk, fairly wide zone of deployment. So we have no trouble of uh, actually, you know, if we use the unit correctly, be able to uh, just push ahead and capture this area. Uh, now the problem is whether to split up the troops here and then, you know, uh, start out uh, toward the western side of the island, and I think I do that using the leader tanks. Of course, there has to be extensive recon to see whether we're going to be facing up with tougher opposition, uh, whether it be from the north or from the west. But then we don't have to worry about the western incursions because of the, the entirety uh, of the territories here. Unless they have already installed and kind of prepared for us from, uh, yeah, prepared for us coming in this narrow pathway with artilleries and whatnot. I think they uh, definitely did. Of course, there is a the story being that there is some kind of missile installation here threatening Japan, mainland Japan. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, that's a story, but I don't think it's going to have any particular, um, you know, influences or anything special about uh, this map. Just because there's some missiles, it's not like they're gonna fire it at us. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, just have to see and recon and uh, see what they have. I'm sure they have a couple of helicopters at least. Yeah, and we have to be prepared for it, but I mean, I do feel really good about the War Thongs here. Um, maybe if the Russian units are available next uh, mission or scenario, then I'll definitely bring in more um, helicopters, more air units. Okay, so my plan is to use the tanks, uh, the veteran tanks to travel west. And the normal tanks to supported by the artillery, of course, to go up north and try to capture the airfield. By then, we'll be able to reach here and then um, kind of finish off things here and then use the support unit to, you know, transport the support unit to make a landfall here and then uh, bring in more units and push ahead toward the last objectives. I think that's uh, going to be my plan. So let's deploy, deploy, deploy. Alright, let's be careful with the mouse. Yeah, the mouse movement is very jerky once again, sorry, I don't know what's happened. 
I think the UN missions... Sorry, I don't think I played this map during the Mew missions. I think I just went to uh, Vladivostok straight ahead without having to deal with this. But it's a pretty fun map though. It's one of the more unique maps that I remember. Yeah, so clear. Yeah, there will be some enemies here, definitely, because it's a choke point. Yeah, I just have to land here. The wetland, I guess. I don't know whether that's a good idea. Alright, some recon is needed. Of course, a support unit. Yeah, start shot from here. This is all well so it's outside of the range of the deployment for the HQ. Need some stable land. Yeah, scout. Tracer to scout. One more scout? No. Okay, sure. And from the support unit, I'm going to deploy some artillery. The rest of this is going to be... Um, linebackers and Patriot. Not going to be able to travel too far from each deployment, but it's going to be helpful. Yeah, there's some more here. Yeah, I'm going to be getting some Tunguskas in. And the knight and the patriot down south. Yeah, that's it, right? Okay, good. All right, so we are ready to go. Let's get the scout going. All right, okay, some recon and a tank to begin with. And the PMU. Okay, all right. Let's just get this this guys out of commission. All right, and fire off these things. Yeah, now uh, this is kind of a uh, yeah blocked, but I'll be able to get some artillery at least. So let's get one artillery going. It's going to be a bit cramped. Yeah, I wonder if there's artillery here. Yeah, there's artillery. Oh man, I got damaged pretty heavily. Okay, so that was my mistake. And only 25 mission points. Okay. Yeah, there's only one PMU. I will wild weasel this. I think I can just roll over uh, these guys. I don't know whether I'm being too... Um, whether I'm being a bit too experienced in my um, first turn here. Uh, wetland. Yeah, get this guy. Point three. Yeah, with upgraded attachment, it does a bit better. Or I hope. And of course, the helicopters might help in this case. So I bring more helicopters in. And Warthog, yeah, the deployment zone expands as if they have been launched from some kind of aircraft carrier. Yeah, let's just go with this guy. Oh, wow, all right, so maybe, yeah, definitely you can see that the PMU is working here. Oh, wow, yeah, just destroyed entirely. So the Warthog is affected by the PMU. Uh, gotta be careful, although it's not going to be able to cripple it, but still it's going to be substantial damage. Let's unload one more artillery, or is it what the counter battery uh, effect is going to dissuade me? I think it's going to be the latter. I'm not going to be able to use the um, artillery unless, until I get this guy off. Off our backs. One and six, alright. I think I can do a bit better, but just need to watch out here. 0.4, yeah. Okay, there's a Type 99, which is a decent BMP type mechanized infantry. Shares the same sprite. Okay, so right now I have a bit of a problem in trying to see what kind of pathway I should take. Maybe I can do rare recons, but right now I just have to destroy that mechanized infantry and see. 
uh, where I can go from there as far as the western uh, direction is concerned. Alright, let's uh, try to... Yeah, out of infantry. Okay. No, don't go there. Could have been pretty disastrous if I had to reveal some um, unit health or something. They might have uh, wasted a turn there with the PMU's voice attack. Okay. One in five. I think I can do a bit better. Definitely. Let's use a helicopter here. Six and five, not bad. And it's not entrenched right now. Wow, okay, I lost that pretty bad there. Yeah. Advanced equipment, so that means that we're going to have a, some kind of prototype unit. So our pressure to get Brilliant Victory is lessened because we're going to get a prototype unit regardless of any victory conditions. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really happy about um, using like three tanks to get the recon, but that is part for the course because the last time, remember, my recon was able to withstand at Irkutsk like three or four different anti tank attacks. Uh, it kind of goes both ways in a sense. Okay, now I'll be able to. Because Pim used uh, off our backs, I'll be able to attack with a plum. Pretty good. Yeah, just have to get rid of these guys. Nice. And then I can probably attack the WS1 as well. As you can see. And 4 is going to go into the hills. Just wish I have a tank to be able to get to that. Um, okay, this guy. Hopefully this guy is not stranded. Because I need to move this guy. Uh, maybe he is stranded. Okay. Well. That is weird. Because... I thought that I could move my HQ. Oh my god! No, oh my god, stop the presses. We are in big doo doo. Big doo doo, I tell you. Okay, this changed things. I should have uh, scouted a bit early. <laughs> okay, well, well, well. Air strikes. Both of these guys. Let's see if it works. Oh my goodness, that is unfortunate. Okay. Yeah. Air strikes not really working. And uh, of course there have had to be the heavy tanks, heavier heaviest tanks the Chinese can bring right there at the choke point. It was all too easy. And all too it makes too much sense. Uh alright, so what can I do? Maybe I'll just shoot at it with high mars? I mean it can do some damage. Yeah, I guess. Need to probably push it ahead. These guys. Um, well, let's. Four and three. Okay. Anything helps. Um, yeah, it's not the most optimal beginning uh, set of moves that I did. Uh, right, okay. So this guy. Okay, he's all in the clear. So. Just have to brute force it. I just want to conserve at least three tanks uh, as I approach the other side of the uh, island. So I just try to be as yeah. I just destroy it and just aim at any of these guys. Uh, yeah, wild weasel first, and then. Now, Wild Weasel will, well, I mean, it will be helpful, but I think it's going to erase my airstrike capability, which I think I need. Alright. Okay. Let's just keep pummeling it with the uh, artilleries. See if I can make... No, I cannot full force it. Or uh, maybe I can, I can do this then. And destroy the PMU, then attack with the airstrike. 
So we'll be able to inflict the most amount of damage. And attack this guy. 5 and 5? Okay, that's much better. Yeah, overrun it. This is the power of the pulse. 7 and 4, lost only one attack. I'm okay with that. Definitely okay with it. Since it's in the hill, maybe I can use the infantry to finish him off. Those like strong infantry unit, like knight, perhaps. Be able to do it. Nope. Not really. Okay. Just want to see, uh, using the last air mission point, what kind of forces we're going to be up against. Okay, not much. So that was the heaviest line of defense that we have to punch through, at least on this side. And then after that, you won't have much trouble. Just have to watch out for the, the level of... Yeah, the level of forces, or the amount of forces that we can bring on the other side of the island. 21, okay. That's uh... I think I can live with that. Just have to use the linebackers to prepare the defenses. Yeah, okay, and... I think there was one more Patriot here. Yeah, there's a Knight unit that I uh, obviously didn't place too well far south. I wonder if there's any enemy units lying in wait. Yeah, I'm sure there are. The engineers over there. Uh, I think I'm not going to bring any units right now because these guys can probably fight the engineers well. Yeah, I, th I think I lose out there. This guy will have to replace, which means that uh, by the next turn rolls around, this might be able to get up to 15 once again, but I have like helicopters and other units to be able to compensate for their replacing. Yeah, let's just move as much as possible. Uh, Scout is able to travel pretty far inside, but yeah, right now I just not do that. So sure what kind of things that it might be, uh, trying to ambush us at every turn. Kind of weird that this guy cannot move, um, perhaps because I'm blocking it. No, it cannot move from this position. So I probably, maybe it was intended. Maybe it was intended, or I placed it to. Um, yeah, I should have placed it a bit south where it was not surrounded by wetlands like here. But there was a mistake on my part. Let's see if I can make the most out of it. Okay, so I will uh, keep the current level of force to attack in the, or the, you know, get the rest of the eastern objectives. Yeah, they're going up. Okay, so more guys from the swamp. Uh, I guess there are some, yeah, units that are definitely splitting over from the hills. Okay, so this guy cannot move, right? No, can't. Okay, so I guess that was unfortunate. And I placed it right there, where I cannot move. Okay, so this is the tank, and this is the unit I need to aim at. Alright. Twenty three. Okay, that's gonna change soon. Helicopter, um, well, let's use the Warthog because it has a higher range of attack and I'll be able to overrun it, yeah, as you can see. And let's see if I can go into the forest, no. Only through here, in this little narrow path, so yeah, the leaders will start out. Uh, yeah. I wonder how long it's gonna take, but leaders, yeah, definitely should start out west. Because I don't know what the heck is going on there. Uh, one more, maybe. Okay, found you. Oh, fortunately I can shoot from here, not from here though, but yeah, from here. Interesting. 
Yeah, let's open the way. Okay, I was gonna have to finish it off. Oh, that is uh, unfortunate. Okay, so we still have plenty of tanks. And these guys can be moved by helicopter, so that's very important to note. How about the stealth? Um, okay, can be transported by air. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, you have to use the arrow key, sorry about that. This is better. Seven and four is being entrenching, but a bit too late. We are, we are right up there. Anyways, yeah, this engineer has to get out. Uh, this guy or this guy? I'll get this guy. We'll run. And does it have enough? No. Okay, let's capture it. One and six, all right. Now, I have to see what other units might be waiting for us, especially in the in the north. This is, um, I believe, this is recon, right? Yeah. So let's see what they have. Okay, they have all this host of different defenders. And how about here? I'm sure there's a couple of anti here, definitely. Okay. Okay, alright, so definitely an anti here. They can target the aircraft. I don't know about the helicopter. They have two Type 90 tanks, so it's not too strong. I don't think they're moving. Um, in any case. Yeah, so it's going to be a forest and hill. Interesting. And it's going to be blocked. Yeah, I don't know how we are able to travel. Hmm, I could use the rangers to do a heli drop. I don't know whether this seems a bit too risky, but I gotta try it if the turns do not work out right. Anywho, let's go ahead and try to attack. Yeah. Alright, that was not inspiring. 7 and 4, okay, that was a bit better. And Knight is able to travel there, yeah. Okay. No problems. Alright, so we have to think about ways to get around this. Oh wow. Yeah, so they have a lot of different units here. High Mars could attack, but they need some coordinated effort. They might need one other knight to be able to add to the strength here. I think three tanks might be able to do it. Um, and with like arteries in tow. I think so. Just have to watch out for the flank because they might have like different units still awaiting. So I'm going to scout ahead here and see if there's any other unit. Doesn't seem like it, so I just moving my artillery here, uh, flanked by this linebacker. One linebacker here might be nice. Just following these guys. Yeah. And this guy is also going to go, because it's a leader, he has a special one more hex movement. KCM is able to travel only by air. Okay, so the helicopters, I don't know what the he helicopters uh, definite role here is. Okay. IMRs definitely could be able to use to probe the forest, help our progress through the forest. And okay, one more we can't see they have. All right, a lot of different units. Yeah, just 
primarily composed of the infantry. Yeah, what other units do I have here? Just have to secure the air airfield, then we'll be able to move. But uh okay. Just need to see what they have. Okay, the multitude of anti-air. Maybe I could try. This is not anti-helicopter, so it's all anti-air. Interesting. Okay. Is there any Strellas here? Just curious. No, there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of different infantry is thrown about. Okay, regarding the missile installations. Yeah, these guys cannot go there yet. Let's see what they have here. Yeah. So my water will be targeted if I move too much. Maybe I should just concentrate on attacks around um, the infantry here. Concentrate attacks on this poor infantry. Because they don't have any... They don't seem to have any uh, Strella, so... Okay. Just support this guy. Okay, that was uh, a bit... Unfortunate. Okay, so I have... So I have Heimars here, yeah. I need to deploy this guy. Or... Right. Six and three. Okay, let's just finish it off. Oh, well, let's just use another helicopter. Yeah. This is Powell. Mm, okay. Yeah, okay. Need to go up there, I think. Support our unit. Tracer, come back. TSCM. Yeah, support here. Primar is also stay close. Let's see. Any other unit that I can target? No, not from this side. And this guy is also kind of um, yeah, blocked. Well, it's too bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, deploy one more linebacker or Tunguska to protect here. And let's see where we can go from there. Okay, there's a helicopter, two helicopters. I see one of them being a leader. Alright, that was lucky. Has a bit of ambush from the anti tank. Didn't get damaged too much, but these guys are spilling over. All right, let's keep the deployment for a bit later. One and six. Yeah, this guy could have been damaged heavily. They travel pretty far, I think. These guys. Yeah. Okay. This guy's captured it. All right. No biggie. And of course, yeah, another uh, revelation, troubling. There, these guys like creeping up. So I mean, this was this kind of serving its own purpose of uh, you know being a source of these guys coming in and uh, trying to pester us from uh, both left and right, from the hills, from the west, and then the swamps on the east. It's not really a fun proposition. 
Good. Another two weak unit. Bit of a comfort there. And they have been preparing for us to come through this side. I don't know whether this is going to work. Uh, I think I made the wrong choice. Yeah, definitely wrong choice. Okay. Yeah, because of helicopters, I think my um, strike force will not be able to do anything uh, substantial. Even though I land like rangers there, I uh, won't have any. Um, yeah, I won't really have any great result. And four, I right. spread them up a bit. Let's see if I can finish this guy off. Okay. And then Ford Observe. Now Ford Observe is going to help us a bit here. Yeah, we're basically causing a lot of damage on these guys. Patriot, yeah. Just have to get out of this as best as possible. Alright, so Tracer 2. Where are you? 3 and 3. Nineteen, wow, it's uh, really overstrength. Six and four, yeah, definitely manageable. Yeah, Tracer is right there. Okay, I could just seven and four. All right, good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh. Yeah, capture here, and we build more. Nice. Yeah, okay. Need to really... The strong attack. This guy, yeah, okay. They're entrenching, so engineers might be able to help uh, by providing us with that uh, destroys entrenchment. See, the helicopters might be able to help here. Yeah, I think so. Unless there is like tons of volunteers also hiding in the swamps for some reason. Okay, two, one, entrenching. Okay. Let's just finish this guy off. How much damage dealt? What about this guy? Can you do it? Yeah. Okay, good. One and six, definitely take it. Uh, Landbreaker should come. So, high Mars, one more high Mars, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I can possibly destroy it. No. Nope. Have to use a helicopter. Yeah. Managed to go north and to get the entrenchment down. Yeah, okay. Eight and six, not bad. Turn four, that was pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, wow, lost two. Yeah, I mean, this tank is pretty good in close range attacks, but it seems to have. Um, I mean, it seems to still kind of struggle when it comes to, you know, fulfilling battle estimates. I mean, you are attacking these guys entrenched in the close environment in this village. So I think it does definitely do take account where it is rather disadvantaged um, by at least a, some kind of factor. Normally in the open field, then it's going to just 
uh, fulfill the Metal Smith Metallica kind of problem, but here I think it is a bit more um, yeah, disadvantaged. And if you see the village names here, it's uh, definitely Japanese. Asutai, Shiwagai, yeah, definitely you can see the Japanese influences. I don't know exactly why. Um, where the developers base this? I mean, this is Russian, Poronarsk, without question. But Naikawa, yeah, you can definitely see the Japanese influence in the names. I think I also wondered this when I played the Eastern Campaign and uh, had to take the Sakhalin Island for the Chinese. Maybe the developers based this map off of like the World War II US based map where I mean, the US definitely had Japanese uh, names for it because they're obvious targets and also they um, were probably taken by the Japanese by the time US had any interest in taking over or any interest in Pacific War. Maybe it was code name or something. Sakhalin Island, I think originally it was Russian. Japanese took it over. I think on the onset of the, the World War II or the Russo-Japanese War. And was able to, yeah, um, name all these places with their uh, own names. Like, they were really quick about it too. I think they did come to an agreement at the end of the war there. Anywho, I don't know whether that's any accurate. Yeah, I don't think it's accurate. Maybe it was originally Japanese land, I'm not so sure. Okay, so low set. Um, well, I don't know. They have air mission points to travel, but the helicopter is boring. And I, can, I don't think I can use this guy um, because of the... I mean, you know, even though it has range of 12, um, might have to wait a uh, mighty long before the helicopters can threaten uh, the unit within the range of this guy. So yeah, it's also off the table. Yeah, so this mission's kind of... Uh, yeah, kind of interesting and also... It, it doesn't... it isn't seen why it is uh, from the outset. It's definitely more um, more things to think about, and then I might have to repeat this uh, mission if um, things do not improve. Yeah, hi Mars. Uh, I think one should go here. Still worried about the presence of enemy troops splitting out from the hills, so I guess I could check. Still have some air mission points. No, there's nothing anymore. Nobody. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Next turn, I need to get to the uh, airfield, I think. And I think I'll be able to do that. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. Ah, uh, right, right. But I did pretty well. Uh, I don't know about this, though. Okay, even better. Uh, the helicopter is in range. Oh, wow. Thank goodness for the artillery support. <laughs> 